eye on the mysterious Aegean, a ship drops anchor, unaware of the dark force that haunts this ancient sea. Oh, I love to drink with water. Oh, so, 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 I think it's safe to drink and drive when you're on the water, dear. <laughs> right. What do you say we ditch these two Greek relics and head back to my quarters? I'll let you take a peek at the captain's log. Allow me to introduce my parents. This is my mother, Mama, Mama, and Papadopoulos, and my father, Papa, Mama, and Papadopoulos. They own a small mom and pop shop atop the Acropolis. All right. Reese or Nev? Nev. Yeah, me too. Uh, Gwyneth or Callista? Gwyneth, most definitely. I do Callista. Um, how about uh, Winslet or DiCaprio? What? Whoops. Look! Oh, yeah. What is that? Island! Right ahead! Bloody hell! Oh, so, so this log of yours, it is big? Um, well, well, no, it's, it's, uh... <laughs> Captain, sir! That's impossible! We're anchors! <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm just a spy. Yes. You ruined everything. Yes. You think I'm a spy? I know you're a spy. I'm agent number 10 and I'm agent number 1 for spies. Spy group. File number Patty Cake Carrot Top Bottom Dash 9. Code name Greek Freaks. The Maxi Bar, a swank wonderland filled with thrill seekers plumbing the depths of the elusive rabbit hole known as style. Agent number one, I would be peanut butter. And agent number two, please, I would be peanut butter. Enhance the environment with their stimulating presence. Uh, you are so much more jelly. I am peanut butter. Define jelly. Hey, boys. Hey, Mac. Hey, Mac. If cocktail waitresses were cars, Mac would be fully loaded with plenty of legroom and an eager 350 horsepower V8. Read any good books lately? Well, the only book I'm interested in is your little black book. Uh, sorry, secret agent man, but that information is classified. Oh, that's just the way I like my information. Why do you think I keep it classified? The usual? Yeah, but with a twist. Make mine a double entendre. Agent number one receives a call on his high-res Digiton projection pen. Available wherever fine telephonic pens with projection capabilities are sold. It's Helena Troy. Two words. Badass. What's happening, boss? Well, on eight luxury liners off the coast of Greece, nothing. Cruise ship jacking? Mm-hmm. The glitzy seafaring tourist tubs were found floating adrift in the Aegean. Their passengers and crew missing without a trace. Sounds like what happened last year on the Regal Caribbean. Yes, baby, but this has nothing to do with booking Brook Shields' cabaret act. The red dots correspond to the sites where the abandoned boats were recovered. Wait a minute. Zoom in. There's no island at those coordinates of the Aegean. There is now. It's called Freakonos, a tiny uncharted isle recently discovered and acquired by the Xerxes twins. Oh, man, the Xerxes? Spoiled rotten trust from Brett. Now, look, I know you four go back a long way, but let's keep the ancient history ancient. Okay, but why us? Why not the Coast Guard? Because the Xerxes brothers are hosting this year's Pegasus Brand Sports International Games. Oh, one of those cheesy, multi-billion dollar PR slash charity bashes. Mm -hmm. Filled with top-shelf sports celebs competing against each other for prime time. FaceTime. Yes, you'll fit right in. Rumor has it they're going to be handing out their new long-awaited performance-enhancing sneaker. Hmm. Like anyone waits for some crappy-ass sneaker. We're off. Let the games begin. The agents make a splashy entrance to Freakonos behind their remote-controlled streamlined motor yacht. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey. Oh, so uh, what's this theory? I'm just saying that in every great partnership, there is a peanut butter and there is a jelly. Lennon and McCartney. Lennon, peanut butter, McCartney, jelly. Look, Brandy Chastain. Mm, nice tan. Hi. Hello. Want to play catch? No, thanks. Kickball? You'll have to excuse my friend. My name is Tracy, Mom and Papa Dopoli. Dodgeball? Stop it. I'm agent number one, and this is agent number two. Agents? Yeah, the spying kind. 
How convenient. I have something to reveal. Whoa, you mean there's more? Much more than meets the eye. Damn. The Xerxes twins are... Tres we need you to go and make sure the vats are filled with wine for tonight's Baganalian feast. Already done. Oh, well, then we just need you to go. Agent number one. And agent number two. Always late. And never invited. Always tacky. And never aware of it. You're just jealous of our beautiful new ancient Greek island. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Oh, you shouldn't be jealous. Or suspect us of anything. So, here are some priceless gifts to welcome you to the island. But, of course, don't feel embarrassed. Because you have nothing to give us. Oh, we have something. We just didn't have time to... Wrap it. Here you go. What, what is, is it? it? It's a cordless, voice-activated fogging device. And we would need this because... It makes instant fog. Perfect for creating atmosphere. There's only one in the entire world. Not if you build another one. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have. Really? You shouldn't have. We hate it. We'll give it to Tracy. So, see you tonight at the pre-game Bacchanalian feast. Everyone will eat till they're stuffed, drink till they vomit, and prepare for the games in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. Hmm. Meet me at the Garden of the Gods before dinner. Tracy. They just keep on one-upping us, and I refuse to let it end with them one-up. So, in an effort to keep them from being one-up, we are now down one cordless voice-activated fogging device. Have we ever even used that thing? See, you are so jelly. Nice statue garden. Very Clash of the Titans. Wow. Check out the sky. So clear you can read the brand name on Orion's belt. Stars... Romantic garden. Perfect setting for extracting information from a beautiful inside informant. Flower for your lapel. Thank you. It's so, uh, fake. Fake flowers. On an island that's not supposed to exist. Hmm. Spy Groove. File number Patty Cake Carrot Top Bottom Dash 9, Part 2. Baffled by fake foliage in the Garden of the Gods, the agents are about to be ruined in the ruins. Ooh. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. Yes. That really did. Michael Jordan, Mark McGuire, and Tara Lipinski perform the traditional Greek handkerchief dance at the Xerxes' depraved Bacchanalian orgy of food and fashion. To Tracy. Yes, you are such a good helper. Thanks to you, those stinky agents have been disposed of. It's been a good day, brother. Yes, <laughs> to the late agent number one. And agent number two. Are, are we, we late? late? <laughs> Never wants to miss a party. The agents live thanks to their wrinkle-free, bulletproof V-neck undershirts. They're alive. Are you finding your way around the island all right? Oh, yes. Tracy did a nice job setting us up. Uh, um, models or anyone? No, Tracy. The agents will need to be at the top of their game tomorrow. Why is that? Because we are giving them the honor of challenging us to a round of death-defying extreme sports tomorrow. We're challenging you? Thank you. We accept your challenge. 6 a.m. Sharp. Meet me at 5.45. Crazy? Does she actually think we're going to fall for that again? I'll be there. Yeah, me too. Quarter to six. There's nothing worse than dealing with assassins first thing in the morning. But in the case of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, I mean, you have to admit, John would be the jelly and Yoko would be the peanut butter. No. John would still be the peanut butter and Yoko would be the banana. Banana and peanut butter? Uh, it's an acquired taste. Psst, over here. Oh, Tracy! What sort of death trap do you have planned for us today? Listen, I didn't set you up last night. Yeah, and we'd believe you because... Because we don't have much time. The Xerxes are evil. Mm, tell us something we don't know. They've kidnapped my parents and hundreds of other tourists. They're out to destroy Pegasus. Hmm, that we didn't know. Why? Revenge. Years ago, the Xerxes desperately tried to fulfill their lifelong dream to become Pegasus Sportswear International spokespeople. Yikes. But they were rejected. Oh, kicked to the curb by a sneaker company. That explains so much. These are my parents. Please find them. Oh, that's what you're smelling. Agent number one and agent number two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Mano a mano. A mano a mano. Wait, how many manos was that? 
In the tradition of the ancient Greek games, the four amateur competitors set forth to test their strength and fortitude. Kick the can. What's this? Uh. Ow! Son of a... Nice kick, brother. Looks like we win. Uh. Marble horse. Hey, we, we win! win. Uh, again. Stop the charging rhino! This isn't even a game! Someone sounds like a sore loser! <laughs> oh, you shouldn't feel bad about losing to us in every single event. These things happen, especially when you're competing against people who are simply better than you. At cheating, isn't it? Well, we must be off. Unfortunately, we have an international sporting event to host. So we'd invite you, but we're sure you want to keep soaking your inferior aching muscles. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, go shave your hairy back, Lavaz. I just noticed something incredibly disturbing. You mean Zippo's breath? No. Come here. This is exactly where we were standing last night. Yeah? Check out Orion's belt. Hey. Orion's ass is where his head should be. This island has rotated 180 degrees in 24 hours. Interesting. Can I get back in the hot tub now? I wouldn't. Can't those two leave us alone for two minutes without trying to kill us? No. Key lesson? Keep moving or die. Exactly. So? I'll find out what Greek tragedy the twin freaks have planned for tonight's game. And I'll try to find out where this cruise to Hades is actually heading. At the Xerxes Cardi Greco Villa, the Twisted Twins prepare for the evening's festivities. What do you think, brother? Six gold chains or seven? Well, seven is a lucky number, and it is our lucky night. And seven it is! I call Gibbsies on the shower. Oh, damn. Brother. <clears throat> Brother, tell me the plan again. I love the way you tell it. Okay, but this is the last time. At the end of the games, they will announce the new Pegasus sneaker. <laughs> and then they start that sneaker. <laughs> oh, but what they don't know is that we replaced the helium with hydrogen. So, hydrogen? <laughs> they don't know it. And then, at the final event, there will be a major explosion. Everyone will scream, and Pegasus will be put out of business forever. And we win, brother. <laughs> we win. Thank you, Zippo. You're a Zippo. I know that. Whoops. Agent number one. Tracy. Agent number two sneaks past a giant sneaker. Attention, media, PR people, and ladies wearing hats. Please clear the area. John Stamos, Jennifer Aniston, Olympia Dukakis, and the Laker girls, please report to the heel of the giant sneaker. We need you inside that shoe to rehearse your big entrance for the final event. And with someone get Tarlapinski away from the helium tank. Please, it's just not funny anymore. There's no business like shoe business. We must be careful. Zippo and Zappo are right upstairs. They're planning something terribly dangerous for the final event. Yes, I know. It has something to do with switching the not-so-dangerous gas helium with a very explosive gas, hydrogen. Why? They want to blow something up. Balloons? No, too obvious. We must stop them and find my parents before it's too late. Yeah, but how? Would this help? It's a cordless voice-activated fogging device. Hmm. Whoa, Freakonos is no island. It's a pirate ship in drag. Spunny Crew, final number patty cake, carrot top, bottom, dash nine, part three. As the mythical island of Freakonos travels towards a docking catastrophe of titanic proportions, agent number two uses his retractable grappling cable slash belt buckle to board the ill-fated luxury liner. of this year's games, Zippo and Zappo Xerxes! Just 
must wait until the final event. Poor fools. What they don't know will definitely hurt them. Smile for the Swakars, Tracy. Or Mom and Pop, Mom and Popadopolis will never see their little shop atop the Acropolis again. <laughs> <laughs> Deep inside freaking house, the Xerxes Sweatshop takes advantage of highly intoxicated, overstuffed, sunburnt cruise ship passengers. Tracy must not know we're here, or she come to save us by now. Oh, Papa, you know that Tracy. She's probably playing the shuffle card game or dancing the limbo on the Lido deck. <laughs> Have you seen our waiter? Mama, this is not the craft activity arranged by the cruise director. No. We've been taken prisoner by hostile sporting good manufacturers. And are being forced to become unpaid non union workers in the garment industry. Oh, oh, oh it is always something with you. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. As trespassers, you have become property of Xerxes Sportswear International, where resistance is futile. Talk about a tourist trap. After tonight, Pegasus will forever be linked to the tragic public death of their own celebrity spokespeople. I love that. Genius. Why, thank you, Tracy. We didn't know you were so interested in our work. Excellent. Keep stroking their egos. Soon you'll have them eating out of your hand. They already are. What? Nothing. Have another grip. And tell me more about your magnificent plan. Enjoy your complimentary exotic fruity cocktails. And be happy knowing you will spend the rest of your life creating low-end knockoffs of high-quality sportswear. No, no, no. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Topless. I mean, Mom and Papa Dopolis. I love a strawberry decorate. I'm not a waiter. Who are you? I'm a friend of Tracy's. Is she alive? Does that mean you're not going to bring me a strawberry decorate? Later. Right now, we have to get to work. Then can I have a strawberry decorate? <laughs> Oh, trust me, after tonight's tragic final event, you wouldn't be caught dead in a pair of Pegasus sneakers. Unless you're a Pegasus Sportswear International spokesperson. Oh, <laughs> you are so clever. <laughs> Soon, there will be no Pegasus Sportswear International, and we will fill the hole in the market with... Hydrogen? No. No, no, Tracy. Our own eye-popping line of Xerxes sporting gear. So that's what they're up to. But wait, there's more. We're bringing back diagonal zippers and velour. And here's the best part. We are our own sports people. Oh. Why exploit someone else when you can exploit yourself? And loving every second of it. Everyone will be jealous of us. Think of the places our faces will be. On magazines. And billboards. On cereal boxes. Don't forget the cereal boxes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do you say we get out of here? On training cards, on fat-free grilling machines, on psychic hotlines. Find out about the helium hydrogen switch. <laughs> Talk to me about the hydrogen. I mean the helium. <laughs> oh, well, we took hydrogen and switched it for the helium in the... Uh, wait! What little bird has been whispering in your ear? Oh, yes. How did you know about the hydrogen? Retreat. Ladies Retreat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final... The final event! The final event! The final event! The final event is the triple tandem simultaneous long jump featuring Pegasus spokespersons Michael Jordan, Mark McGuire, and Tara Lipinski. They'll be wearing sneakers with the revolutionary new Pegasus Heel! Where's the hydrogen? In the heel! Oh my god. Is helium! No! It's hydrogen! The new Pegasus Heel. You mean Achilles Heel. Get a better vertical by adding helium to your step. Contact agent number two. Watch as our three finalists leap over this giant replica of the new Pegasus Sportswear International Sneaker. Contact agent number two. On your mark. Talk. Get set. The sneakers are filled with hydrogen and will explode on impact. And... I've got it covered. How? Trust me. Yeah! Neck and neck, the athletes plant and jump, taking off into the air. Suddenly, like warriors from a Trojan horse, Agent Number Two and Mr. and Mrs. Mom and Papadopoulos snatch the explosive Pegasus footwear from the athlete's heavily insured appendages. Yes! Damn those meddling agents! Looks like you two have lost. 
this is all her fault. And now she will have to pay for it. Fog this. As planned, Tracy Voice activates the cordless voice-activated fogging device. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, boys. You're totally fogged up. This is all your fogging fault. You got us into this fogging mess. Fog off. Nice job, Tracy. Thanks, Agent Number One. Tracy. Tracy. Mama. Papa. Well, pat yourselves on the back, boy. You've just prevented what promised to be the most devastating case of athlete's foot in recorded history. Carlo, get me out of here. You know what the problem was with those two? What? They're both jellies. Yeah, now they're toast. You know what else I've come to a conclusion about? You. What? You are peanut butter. You see, I told you. But you're chunky peanut butter. No, don't give me that. Chunky. And I am a preserve. What type of preserve? <laughs> Strawberry preserve, actually. I think we're both peanut butter, really. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If they're both jellies, then we're both peanut butter. Now, yeah, well, what's your logic? I mean, how can, we can't be the same peanut butter. We'd be like well, two magnets. You know, well, I'm like crunchy, special. you're smooth. Ah, like that. So uh, crunchy and creamy. Right, I'm crunchy, you're creamy. But the thing is, I think I'm the crunchy. No, I, I'm the I would crunchy. be the chunky peanut butter. You would be the creamy variety. No, no, I'm not. The, you're, you're smoother than I am. Maybe I am smoother. No, I have difficulties, you know. Actually, I, I am smoother.